So the idea of the Invasive Dinner series is to uh, creatively popularize um, species that are detrimental to the environment. So American signal crayfish, Japanese knotweed, gray squirrel, these are all forces of destruction within our environment. They're all edible and they're all delicious. You have to take my word for it. The signal crayfish was introduced as a food source. It was introduced basically for farming. Um, it's widely cultivated in America for food. And the idea was it would be an extra species that could be easily farmed in the UK for export um, to crayfish markets. Unfortunately, they're really good at escaping. Yeah, these, these are not commercially available. And so I hope that a lot of entrepreneurial foodies see this as an opportunity to get grey squirrel on multiple menus, uh, American signal crayfish, you know, to see it become a accessible resource for chefs and their menus. The idea isn't to popularise these invasive species, so there's so much of a demand that we allow them to become more invasive or um, overpopulate even further just to keep up with that demand. So that would be the terrible thing to occur. Um, I hope that um, we bring back balance within the ecosystem and then we stop eating them. So invasive non-native species are a major threat to biodiversity. Really they're one of the, one of the major reasons in addition to for example habitat change, climate change, invasive non-native species are another major reason for the decline of so many species that are threatened with extinction. Consuming invasive non-native species isn't something that I would encourage. The problem is that if you take the American signal crayfish, it was actually bought from the country in the first place as a food source. And you, there's a potential that people will even introduce it themselves if they think that it can be then collected as food. And we've seen what a devastating effect this can have on the local ecosystems. 